What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Stream Elements tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an event list and it's really cool because it shows your most recent activity for your stream. So to set this up it's very simple so let's jump over to the actual Stream Elements editor. All right once we get into the editor we're going to click on the plus. We're going to go to labels, other, event list. This will then populate your most recent activity from your stream as long as it's inside the activity feed. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see different options that you can then bring into your actual event list. Once you have that all checked however you want, then underneath that you have a maximum of events. You can do a max of 10 and you can do as low as 1 to be displayed. You can then have the direction be to where it's going to go from bottom up or top down. You can also change to different themes. So if you go through all these, just figure out which theme is going to be more to your taking or liking, I guess. And then once you have that, you can also change the background color too. You don't have to worry about position, size, and style. Text settings is very self-explanatory, and it also allows you to increase the size if you need to. So if you do something like that, you're just going to have to then kind of click out and drag a little bit to increase the size of the box. That way everything is able to be read. Once everything is good, if you don't want to add any animation settings, then we can go ahead and just click on save, click on the little link chain, and we're going to go into our OBS. So once you click on that, we're going to create a new source. So we're going to click on the plus, we're going to go to browser source, and we're going to give it a name, and we're just going to do a control V as in Victor to paste, and then it should display right there. So, of course, you can always resize these things if you need to. You can also resize all that here in the editor. And when you go and emulate it, which I'm going to mute the, em the, the volume there for the emulator, but you can go ahead and just do like a follower event, and you can see here that it's right there. So if I save, and then I go back into here, it's going to be right there. So that's very self-explanatory, very easy to set up. But if you did run into any problems or if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel as I do cover a lot of videos similar to this to help you guys with streaming. And also, don't forget to hit that bell icon whenever you guys do subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. But thank you so much for watching and take care.